Never tell, never tell. Just trust that I'll keep it locked in a cell. Never revealing no secrets. You're keeping these promises strong as a spell. I'll never tell. Good day, everyone. In this video, I'm gonna review the Microsoft Surface Laptop Go 2. I've been using it about a year and it is time to share with you some of the pros and cons of this device. Without further ado, let's get to it. Inside the box, there is a charger, laptop and manual. The charger is 24 watt, which is 15 volt with 1.6 ampere. In the manual, the biometric fingerprint sensor is shown, which is the power button. The laptop is very solid and slightly heavy for its size, which weighs about 1.12 kg or 2.48 pounds. The monitor cover is made of aluminium and the keyboard part is plastic, but it feels premium. On the right side of the laptop, there is a charging slot and on the left side there is a USB port, 3.5mm headphone jack and a Type-C port. The display has a maximum resolution of 1535 x 1024 with 60Hz refresh rate. The processor is Intel Gen 11 Cry 5 with 2.4 GHz computing power. The installed RAM is 8 GB and the operating system type is 64 bit. It is touch screen with 10 touch points and the installed Windows is 11 Home Edition. However, I tested the performance with benchmark software CPU Expert and you can see the speed, which is based on the number of hash operations per second number of simultaneous operations for computing hashes and the final score that indicates how many hashes were computed during the test. Next, let's look at the battery performance setting, which shows the details of consumption, power mode and battery level. With the original charger, it takes about 1 hour to charge the battery from 0 to 80% and takes another 45 minutes to 1 hour to reach to 100%. Next, let's compare the speaker quality and loudness, which in my opinion is one of the best and loudest among laptops I have tested. For example, I have Lenovo Duet 7 in here. Take a listen. Microsoft Surface Laptop Go 2 has also ambient sensor, same as all the recent laptops and tablets to protect your eyes in different light condition. However, from bright to dark, it takes longer to reduce the display brightness, while from dark to bright, it is almost instantaneous. One of the distinguishing features about laptops compared to 2-in-1 tablet PCs is that they have hinge with opening angles limitation and the same goes to Microsoft Surface laptop. The maximum opening angle is about 130 degrees which might not be enough if you are sitting upright at a relatively short table. I wish it could open with a wider angle. 
As I mentioned earlier, Microsoft Surface Laptop has Type-C port, which is not only for data transmission, but it can be used for charging the device as well, and it can be handy if you are not carrying the charger with you. However, the speed of charging is not same as original charger that is provided in the box with the laptop. The other usage of Type-C port is for headphones and microphones that use Type-C. So if your mobile phone uses Type-C hand-free, it can be used for this device as well with the same quality as 3.5mm jack. But you cannot use both 3.5mm jack and Type-C headphone at the same time. You can only select one at a time. Overall, this device with Gen 11 processor, Cry 5, 8 GB RAM, and 256 solid state hard disk performs better than my last year device, which was Gen 10 Core i7 with 16 GB RAM and 1 TB solid state hard disk. If you have any question, leave a comment below. And same as always, thank you for watching and see you next time.